Humans have always been intrigued by the idea of immortality and have been searching for ways to live forever for centuries. However, it appears that some animals have already achieved a form of immortality. In this video, we will explore 10 animals that are capable of living even after death. Be sure to stick around until the end to find out which creature is considered to be immortal. Chickens. There's some truth to the saying, running around like a headless chicken. Farmers have observed that even after their heads have been cut off, chickens continue to run around. This isn't due to some zombie-like characteristic of chickens, but rather it can be traced back to human error. It's an error made by butchers. Chickens have a different central nervous system compared to humans. Certain basic bodily functions are controlled by specific parts of the brainstem, not the brain itself. When a butcher cuts off a chicken's head too high up, often only the forebrain is removed while the brainstem and cerebellum are left intact. If the jugular vein is also missed during this process, the chicken will keep moving and may even be able to breathe. These headless chickens will eventually starve to death. But there have been rare cases where a chicken survived for 18 months without its head. It might seem like a bee is harmless once it's dead, but don't be fooled. Even though a bee may no longer be alive, its stinger can still cause you harm. When a bee stings, the stinger remains embedded in the victim's skin, along with a small organ containing venom and a muscle that pumps out the venom. These actions are not controlled by the bee's brain, but rather by involuntary impulses. Even if you find a dead bee, it's still best to be careful and avoid picking it up to avoid getting stung. Cockroaches are known for their resilience and are often considered to be the most likely survivors of a nuclear war. Some people even claim that they can live without their heads, and it's true. Unlike humans, cockroaches have an open circulatory system with little to no blood pressure. When heads are severed, the wound naturally closes due to clotting. Additionally, cockroaches don't rely on their heads for breathing like humans do. They have small holes called spiracles on their bodies that allow them to breathe. While a headless cockroach will eventually run out of food, it can survive for several weeks before it dies. Octopuses are pretty amazing creatures. They can keep moving even after being cut up. In some Asian countries, eating fresh octopus is considered a dangerous delicacy because their arms can still move even when they're separated from the main body. These arms can be dangerous if they get stuck in someone's throat, which can be pretty unpleasant. The reason for this amazing ability is the unique central nervous system of octopuses. Unlike most animals, where most of the nerve cells are in the brain, about two-thirds of an octopus's nerve cells are actually in its tentacles. This means that even when the arms are disconnected from the main brain, they can still respond to stimuli and exhibit mobility. Surprisingly, this responsiveness can persist even after the octopus has died and its arms have been severed. Researchers at St. George's University in London have been doing some pretty in-depth experiments to better understand this phenomenon. Their studies have given us a lot of insight into the intriguing nature of octopuses and their remarkable ability to control their arms even when they are no longer connected to the central nervous system. If you were to make a list of animals that persistently survive even after apparent death, it would be hard not to include the salamander. This creature has always been associated with long life and immortality, and it is even revered by those who believe in magic. They believe that the salamander's remarkable regenerative powers can be considered supernatural. Salamanders can regenerate any part of their body that has been severed. What's even more incredible is that these regrown parts actually function the same, or sometimes even better than the original ones. This is mainly thanks to a special protein found in salamanders that helps with cell replication. Humans also have this protein, but in smaller quantities, and it helps us heal from wounds. Does this mean that we'll soon be able to regenerate severed limbs? Well, we're not quite there yet, but scientists are studying salamanders and how their unique ability could potentially benefit humans. According to the text, David Blaine has been seen resurrecting dead flies by touching them. However, this is not because he has supernatural powers. Flies can survive freezing temperatures and go into a state of suspended animation. What David is actually doing is thawing the frozen fly using his own body heat. When the insect fully thaws, it flies away. 
Female flies can live for several days after being decapitated. They assume an upright stance and can engage in complex actions, such as preening, flying, and walking. Males will even court decapitated females, and the females treat their sexual advances as noxious foreign stimuli. When people encounter a highly venomous snake, they tend to react in one of three ways. They run away, freeze in place, or try to kill the snake. While it seems like the best way to avoid getting bitten is to chop off the snake's head, it's important to remember that a snake's head, which contains its fangs and venom sacs, can still bite and deliver deadly venom, even when detached from its body. Snakes have heat-sensitive pits on either side of their face that they use to detect threats. If you're close enough for your body heat to be detected, you're considered a threat. These heat-sensitive pits can continue to detect a threatening presence for hours after the snake's death. This means that even if the snake's body is no longer attached, it may still attempt to defend itself in a zombie-like manner. Scientists have found that frogs can move even when their brain is dead or missing. This was discovered when reports of headless animals moving about were investigated. However, to further understand this phenomenon, 19th century neurologist David Ferrier conducted an experiment where he removed the brain of a frog but left its head intact. Surprisingly, the frog was still able to behave similarly to a frog with a brain. It could right itself when turned upside down, hop away when its feet were pinched, swim to the side and climb out of water, and even croak when its back was stroked. This is down to the power of reflex reactions that cause muscles to expand or contract. Turtles, like other animals like fish, reptiles, birds, and mammals, have their own pacemaker cells in their hearts. These cells take over when the signals from the brainstem aren't coming through for some reason, ensuring that the heart still functions for a while even when the brain doesn't. Turtles, in particular, have an incredible ability to survive without oxygen and nutrients supplied by the blood for a very long time. For instance, the loggerhead musk turtle can survive up to 5,000 hours without oxygen by absorbing it from the water through their skin, throat, and butt end. They also have an impressive ability to produce energy without oxygen, and their hearts have a built-in fuel reserve that they use until it's all gone. This makes them highly resilient creatures. Flatworms, also known as planarians, are fascinating creatures known for their remarkable regenerative abilities. Unlike the old wives' tale about earthworms, where cutting them in half results in two separate worms, this is not true. However, if you were to substitute an earthworm with a flatworm, the story takes a disturbing turn. Flatworms can regenerate any part of their bodies after amputation. If you cut a flatworm in half, the head portion will grow a tail, and the tail portion will grow a head. In fact, if you cut a flatworm into 20 pieces, each piece will regenerate into a new worm that is identical to the original. Scientists at Nottingham University have even created a colony of over 20,000 worms using this regenerative ability. What's even more intriguing is that these worms do not seem to age. Their bodies and organs stay young, so they seem immortal unless they get sick. It's interesting to think about which deathless animal we like the best. If you have any thoughts, feel free to share them in the comments section below. Thanks for watching and have a great day.